Hey guys, today we're gonna make teriyaki chicken with fake chicken, of course. It's a great Japanese dish, so stay tuned to see how it's made. Have some good food, bad days. Welcome to Vegan Asia. Hey guys, so what we're gonna make is teriyaki chicken today, and these are the ingredients that you'll need. Um, some wet ingredients, so about half a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of rice vinegar, some sesame oil, it's about one tablespoon, light brown sugar, about half a cup as well, one tablespoon of corn flour, and then three cloves of garlic, minced it. So first things first, we're gonna mix all of the wet ingredients with the sugar, because we want the sugar to be dissolved into the wet ingredients. So we have the soy sauce, which I'll put in my bowl, the rice vinegar, sesame oil, and then, of course, the sugar, which I'll add immediately. Let this dissolve in your bowl. All right, so let's add the corn flour as well. So this is gonna create a little crust on your chicken. Let's give that a swirl as well. And it will also make the sauce a bit thicker. Now, for some more flavor, my favorite thing ever, garlic. You could also use garlic powder. Mix it in. Some salt and pepper. So this is the pepper and the salt. Give it a mix. And it's all nicely combined. Now, I have some fake chicken here. How I made this one, I'll put an extra video, I don't know, here. So if you want to see how I make this, click on the little box right now. And as you can see, it really has the texture of actual meat or chicken in this case, but it's actually made out of wheat flour um, and also made with chickpeas. So unfortunately, it's not gluten free. However, if you are if you can eat gluten, this is a perfect thing to do. Right, let me add this to our marinade. Mix it up. Make sure every piece gets at least a little bit of that marinade on it. All right, that's it for now. So we're gonna cover this with some plastic. Put this in the fridge for at least like an hour so all of the nice flavors are transferring into the chicken so see you in a bit all right so the teriyaki chicken has been rested in the fridge for like an hour and now we're gonna screw them onto these sticks and immediately put them on the griddle you can also barbecue them if you want let's give it a little toss we have these nice cute skewers if you are gonna barbecue, uh, just a little tip, put the skewers in uh, some water so they won't burn on the barbecue. In this case, I'm griddling it, so I didn't. All right, so I have my teriyaki chicken. It's all on these nice little skewers. I still have some marinade, which is actually quite nice because then we can drip it with the little brush while it's griddling. So let's put them on there grill should be nice and hot. You should hear a sizzling sound, as you can hear, once you put them on there. And then, as I said before, use that extra marinade that you had to cover them as well. So it's time to turn them around. Be careful with your fingers. You can see is nice and glaze, glazing up, it's turning brown like real meat. So give them a twist. So what do you do with the extra sauce? So we don't have to throw it out. You can actually put it on a little pot, put it on the stove, 
reduce it till it's like a thicker saucy mixture and then once you serve these you can actually put a little sauce on top of it it's just to have that extra flavor on your screwed teriyaki i think this looks good i think we can plate and there you have it teriyaki chicken on a skewer beautiful japanese flavor right from the griddle or your barbecue whatever you prefer enjoy <laughs>